Warning, if you're an active final expense agent, this may actually be the most important video that you will ever see. For the simple reason that I'm gonna share with you towards the end of the video, something that I did that you should do, and when I did it, it took me from being a struggling agent to being one of the highest producers in the nation within just a few months. Coming up next. Whether you're selling life insurance or final expense, and it doesn't matter if you're, you're doing it over the phone, belly to belly, eliminating objections or at least minimizing them up front with your presentation is vital to your success. When you make a poor presentation or your sales presentation is just lacking in one or two things, that's all it takes is a little bit of neglect. You're gonna get more people that are gonna give you more objections when you go to close the sale. So that's why in this video, eliminating objections during your final expense presentation, I'm gonna give you some really hot tips to make your life insurance presentation or your final expense presentation so strong that you're gonna not only get all the easy sales, some of the ones you're missing, all the low hanging fruit, but you're also going to close people that you would normally never be able to sell. I'm Doug Massey. Before we get started, please give the video a big old thumbs up. You definitely want to subscribe if you haven't done so already. We're putting out new content, basically a new final expense sales training video every single week. And if you ring the little bell, you're going to be notified each time we put out a new final expense sales training video. Also, hang around till the end of the video. I'm gonna show you how to get the objection super file. This bad boy has scripts for overcoming objections while door knocking leads, setting appointments, and closing the sale. If you use the methods in this file to overcome your objections, I promise you, your sales numbers, they are guaranteed to go up. So this video is all about minimizing objections up front, and one of the silliest things that I probably shouldn't even have to address, but I've learned the hard way that I do have to, is first impressions. Unfortunately, I've met with some agents that seem to think that grooming and showering is actually an option, and that wearing clothing that is old and disheveled looking is quite okay. Wrong. If I were to walk in on some sloppy looking idiot making a sales presentation to my grandma, I can assure you I'm throwing his ass out of the house without any hesitation. However, on the other hand, if I walk in the house, grandma's talking to some nice, clean cut professional person who actually appears to know what they're doing, I'd probably wanna join in and, and sit down and see what this is all about, right? Well, of course. Hey, Grams, you know what? I like this guy. Maybe you should get some of this insurance. Let's talk about energy, excitement, and enthusiasm. Would you be more likely to buy something from someone who has energy and enthusiasm and they're sure of themselves or more likely to buy someone who is kind of monotone and boring and obviously doesn't know what they're doing and lacks confidence? Excitement and energy are contagious. So you are literally better off going overboard and being super enthusiastic during your presentation than being monotone and possibly boring. I'm never gonna forget the first time I recorded myself making a presentation. I walked out of the prospect's house with the recorder thinking, huh, that wasn't so bad. I don't know why I didn't get the sale. But when I got in the car and I listened to the recording on the way home, I was like, holy crap, that was freaking awful. Dude, that was when the light came on. The next appointment I went to, I took my manager's advice because I had nothing to lose and I wasn't really selling anything anyway. So I decided, you know what, let me put on a show. That's what he said, put on a show, go nuts, exaggerate everything. That's exactly what I did. I was making this presentation, waving my hands around, talking to this lady. She's like giggling and kind of laughing at me the whole time. But at the end, she simply picked the option, signed the papers and handed me the check. That was when I realized everything changed. Your presentation absolutely needs to be strong. 
And you got to be able to cover objections up front, which is why I like to talk about how term life isn't designed to pay a death benefit for the funeral and is only designed to pay the family money if you die early. I also like to get the prospect to admit that they have a need for the insurance. And I do it in a way that is very smooth and easy for them. Look, I don't say, so Mr. Jones, why did you fill out the card? To me, that is the worst thing you can ask someone. And yet I see managers, I hear stories of managers teaching agents to do stuff like this, to say stuff like this. It's nonsense if it's done wrong. Me, once I know the name of the client's beneficiary, which I always find out right at the beginning of the presentation, I might say something like, ah, oh, okay, Mr. Jones, I get it. You just wanna make sure that your daughter, Helen, doesn't have to come out of pocket to pay for your final expenses. Is that right? I think you're starting to get the idea of what I'm talking about right now, right? Yes, building rapport is very important too. That's why I like to give a personal commercial, a little story about myself, how I like to help people, you know, how I got into the, the business. Um, and if need be, I'll even show the prospect something I put together uh, that's a website that is 100% designed to get their approval. I also believe in building lots of value during the presentation by letting them know, look, Mr. Jones, I'm gonna be leaving you with a last will and testimony, a living will kit, a memorial planning guide for your family so that they know what to do. They have clear instructions of what you wanna be done when you do finally pass away. During the final expense presentation, you also wanna make sure you're selling competitive products. Guys, with most of our clients being on a fixed income, anytime we can save them a little bit of money on their final expense life insurance, they will usually, like almost always, appreciate it. Which is why I always point out that I don't just work for an insurance company. I don't work for some big company. I'm actually an insurance broker who has access to all the top companies. And I'm gonna be able to guarantee you, Mr. Jones, that by the time we're done here, nobody else is gonna come in and give you a better deal on your whole life insurance. And very, very important, you have to be clear on explaining what the life insurance will cover, how whole life insurance works, along with how it builds cash value, and how they can access that money that builds up in the cash value if some type of financial emergency comes up. Just remember, the clearer that you are with the information that you share during your presentation, the better. Be strong, take control, build lots of rapport, use energy and excitement and enthusiasm out the wazoo. Hypnotize them into submission. You're the professional, so be the professional. Don't take any nonsense. And one last thing. If you haven't been recording yourself during your presentations, oh my God, and then listening to yourself later, you are minimizing your personal growth as a sales professional. And you've definitely been leaving money on the table and probably costing yourself easy sales that you don't even realize you've been blowing. For a copy of the objection super file that I mentioned earlier, just email me at doug at ufesonline.com. For more information on joining our final expense sales team, which includes getting access to the best lead programs in the nation, along with some of the best commissions out there, just shoot me an email at that same address. Remember guys, when you put the needs of your clients first, everything else will usually fall right into place. So get on out there and do something good for someone today. Happy hunting.